Hi, welcome to my studio and my drone tutorial. So today I've got a problem with my drone which is a DJI Inspire 2. It's quite a large drone and for whatever reason I seem to have damaged uh, one of the landing legs. So the landing leg needs to be swapped for a replacement. I've seen quite a few YouTube videos um, showing people that have damaged the landing legs and um, it seems to be quite a common problem. Um, they're not particularly strong and I guess if you're landing on anything but a, uh, a billiard table surface then there's a potential for one of the legs to come down um, slightly hard if it's slightly uneven so um, that's a possibility um, as I say I discovered it when I was flying last week so I thought it's best to take it out of service until such time as the, uh, the legs repaired. The other problem that can occur is when you're changing from storage mode which is where the landing legs are, and the drone is completely flat um, through to takeoff mode which is where the legs are at 45 degree angles has to be in takeoff mode because that's the only way you can get underneath the drone to fit the camera um, prior to takeoff. One of the things I've seen happen is you have to press the power button five times which changes it from this storage mode perfectly flat to the 45 degree takeoff uh, position. Now what I always do and what I, what I think is recommended is you lift the drone up and you press the uh, power button with the opposite hand uh, five times and the legs move. There's no resistance because it's up in the air. Some people actually do that on the ground. Now if you've got a friction surface or a sticky surface such as a table, um, the bottom of the legs have got rubber feet on and what will happen is if, if you do it on the ground um, so you, you're moving out of the storage mode into flight mode as the drone rises up or the legs lower down but clearly it's on the ground so the, the, the drone rises up then the legs actually come in. Um, one of the problems that can happen is that the legs drag the legs are then forced outwards and you can break a leg that way. So irrespective of how it happened um, I'm here ready with uh, original DJI parts so I've got um, the original landing leg here ready to go onto the, the drone um, and what I need to do first is put it into landing mode flip it upside down um, it will be sitting on the motors um, probably worth protecting the motors if you can um, and then you can access all of the screws and bolts underneath that allow you to remove the leg from what I've seen it's straightforward, we'll move into the repair and see if it indeed is that straightforward. What you'll need is some good tools, so you'll need a watchmaker's screwdriver set. Um, you really need a very, very small Phillips head uh, screwdriver. You'll also need some Allen uh, screwdrivers or Allen wrenches, um, but certainly I prefer the screwdrivers because at least you've got something to hold on to. So the process is take a screwdriver um, on the outer surface of the leg there's actually a cover that's held in place by four screws so all you need to do is get a Phillips head screwdriver undo those four screws and then usually you can prise off the cover with a, uh, a fingernail it's held in at the top and the bottom so if you need to slide something in really thin into the, um, into the cover if you slide it in the middle and then just try and pop it out it will actually pop out uh, without any damage um, we need to take the little an antenna strip out, make a note of its orientation, so make a note of which way the, uh, the label is or the arrow is pointing, and make sure you put it back in in the same orientation. Then you can disassemble the leg, you've got four Allen screws uh, or Allen bolts, so it's just a question of getting a 2mm Allen bolt, I think they're both 2mm but we'll see. So you undo the four bolts and then the, the leg can actually come off. And then it's just a question of taking the new leg out of the packet and, uh, and reassembly. Now, one of the things I will say about DJI uh, Genuine Parts is that you do get uh, the screws involved, so you get replacement screws. Always a good idea to put new screws in. Um, I wouldn't reuse the screws for fear of the screws being um, maybe damaged or worn. Uh, it's probably unlikely, but I'd rather use new screws uh, all day long. So again, taking out the packet, pop it on, feed the, uh, the cable through uh, for the antenna, reconnect the antenna, so pop it back onto the antenna, put the antenna into the recess in the leg, make sure it's flush. Then you can start putting the four bolts in, and I recommend putting the four bolts in first. Tighten them down, make sure you just tighten them hand tight. They don't need to be over tightened. 
Um, you know, the legs are something you can check afterwards to make sure there's no play in the legs. And in my view, there's no need to put any thread lock in either. I think that just hinders uh, disassembly if ever you've got to take it apart again. Um, and it's not a particularly critical part in flight, so um, so you don't really need to make sure that they're, um, they're, they're bonded. So you put the four bolts in, then it's a question of antennas in position, it's flush. You put the cover back onto the, onto the leg and then you put the four screws back into the, into the rear of the antenna. And that's pretty much it. So very, very straightforward, very easy um, to replace. 